Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to our channel once again. I have always explained to you guys on this platform many times that in politics there are only two constants. The first constant in politics is interest. And the second constant in politics is betrayal. William Ruto has betrayed one of his close allies, one of the few individuals who decided to stand by him when very few people would dare. The former party member of parliament, Kimani Mujiri. Allow me to take you back to 2019. In 2019, on December 19th to be precise, Kimani Mujiri led a group of Kikuyu elders to Sugoi, where they ended up endorsing William Samoy Arapoto. On their way to Sugoi, these elders crossed River Sosiani, where on the other side they were received by the Kalenjin elders. That move by Kimani Ngunjiri to lead a delegation of Kikuyu elders to Sugoi is what shifted the equation in favor of William Samoy Arapruto. <laughs> Today, I listened and I was actually shocked to learn that Kimani Ngujiri has now become one of the first former members of parliament from the Kikuyu nation to actually dump William Ruto and Kenya Kwanza. But the league does. I wanted to know exactly the truth. I was a candidate. Mm -hmm. And I want to say in this media and everybody in Kenya to hear me, I'm not in UDA myself. Yeah. I'll never wear yellow uh -huh. anymore. What happened? Because what happened? I've been with Moi. I've been with Kibaki. I know the structure of, 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 of election. I know how the people should put people together. Mm. I know how we should get your light on the nation. It did not work. Let me tell you, Ikinakuru, they did something with the governor there Seven family of the of his family, the, the the sister, the grandchild, the nini, they gave nomination. My people like in bad, they got nothing who supported the the UDA. Mm. So for the UDA, let's not talk about it here for me because I'm not part and parcel for the UDA. I will support the president. I will go on either independent or any other party, but not in the UDA. Iyo ni matope, iyo ni shida. And by it's a big problem because so in which let me ask you, my brother. <laughs> you know how I work for UDA. Mm. Mm. You want to see when we are getting the, uh, 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 the the director of something, we go and get Western when he was in the other party. There, we don't. We are not there ourselves. Who did this work for UDA? Why are we not there? Are we not capable? So before we remove ourselves, we are already removed. Before we remove ourselves, <laughs> already we are removed. We are nowhere. Someone like me. They are appointing people, they are giving people position. Where am I? I was almost dying fighting for for, for the UDA. But I will tell my brother one thing when yeah. I live about the people. Please, you are young and I know you are looking us for the position. <laughs> Leadership is not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you when you get to it, it's like young people. <laughs> when they say when they get married, how they do, I'll buy my girlfriend, I'll buy my wife a car. I'll build a house. Okay. I'll do all these kind of things. Mm -hmm. I can see mom looking for me very seriously. <laughs> I don't know where can come <laughs> So in this video, I want to reveal to you guys 
the reasons why Kimani Ngunjiri, of all the people, decided to publicly announce to the country that he has officially dumped Union Party. But before you do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support, because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. And by the way, today Railo Molodinga met with his ODM brigades, and we also know that yesterday William Ruto met with the UDA officials, and another defection also happened. I'm going to look at it. Mungaza Kawira officially joined UDA party. Ladies and gentlemen, why do you think Kimani Ngunjiri, of all the people, a man who William Ruto even appointed as a cast, decided to officially ditch UDA party? Because for me, that move is significant. You know, I've always explained to you guys that politics is a perceptional game. The moment someone like Kimani Ngunjiri gets the courage to dump William Ruto, it creates a perception that UDA party is losing the ground. And it's also going to give more other individuals the courage to officially dump William Ruto. Because remember, this guy was even nominated by William Ruto to serve as a member of the chief administrative secretary, maybe assistant minister for that matter. Why do you think he has ditched William Ruto? Because that's the most important question. Number one, it's because of emerging factions in UDA party. The truth of the matter is that camps have emerged in UDA party. Importantly, there's a camp that is aligned to Rigadi Gashagwa. I'm 100% sure that Kimani Gujiri has dumped UDA party as part of his strategy to pave way for Rigadi Gashagwa. And he explained it, listening to Kimani Gunjiri, not today, but earlier. And pay very close attention to what he's, what he's trying to say. Waja ni kuambie kwanza, kwa mfano, mi napenda kuzunguza na mafumbo, mafumbo sana. Ndiyo. Ukitaka kuwa umbwa kwa boma yako, mm -hmm. lazima kwanza uipake uchafu. Mm -hmm. hmm? mm Hii -hmm. umbwa, inakula kuko. Mama na ya nasema, ata mayai inakula. Lazima iwe painted, eh? Mm -hmm. Jinambaya. Ndiyo sasa hivyo dipigwa rungu moja wafanya nini? Kuhu. Ya kuyua. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo, lengo ya ligave kashagua. Kuwa that anapigwa, sujui anafanya nini, sujui mamba yake na mna gani. Hii ni painting ya kuhakikisha wataweza kufika pahali kwa kumutua. Kwa sababu, hakuna mutu ambaye ni perfect. It's nobody who is perfect. Mm -hmm. Nobody. And that we are in this ad. Nobody who is perfect. We are all sinners. We must agree to depend on our sin every time we go. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo, ni naona hii ni kupaka rangi, kile tunasema ukutaka kuwa umbwa, unapaka jinambaya, ndiyo kiuwa isemekane, ilikuwa nakula kuku, ilikuwa nakula mayai. It's the same thing even in politics. Mm -hmm. Na hii ni pesa inafanya nini? Atambia. Inafanya kazi. Sio kitu ingine, ni it is money. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu kuona, Uyu kijana ni mjumbe kama watu wengine. Na ni kijana mzuri nasema ana future pia. Mm -hmm. Lakini, isi harambe anaenda na toa milioni moja, elfu miatano, anaenda na ndege, eh? kila pahali, anapangiwa kwenda liftibale areas and areas and areas. Eh? Where is he getting this money? What is the salary of MP? Where is he getting this money? Mm -hmm. Where is he kuzema ni mtu wafanya biyashana sana? Mm -hmm. Azikuwa chia mani wa CDF wa kangata? Uyu, uyu governor. Mm -hmm. So, utaesa kuona, there is something. Me, I'm talking like that because I feel we need to be united this country. Mm -hmm. Tuamucha economy kwanza. Tumalisa ili mashida hiko. Tuweze kuenda mbe. Lakini imabwa ikiaza. Na mina uriza watu yetu walifu tumari. Wakati siyasa ilikuwa ya deputy, ya president, atuwa deputy president. Kachagua alikuwa reni ya mbele ya kupika siyasa. Kali sana. Mm -hmm. Dede nyo alikuweko. Si tulikuweko. Kwa ni tusifumilie, baada ya structure yeye tuliweka, tufenye hii structure, iweze kuwa hapo. Mimi ni kuwa moja. Kwa, 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 kwa nini kuena mkono mwusi, ambao tumautanya, ambao tunadhani ni mkono mwusi, ambao... Two is the Nakuru County Politics. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, politics about interest. Kimani Ngunjiri served William Ruto's interest in 2022. William Ruto wanted to win the support of the Kikuyu nation. So William Ruto reached out to an experienced hand. Kimani Ngunjiri who played dirty politics. In fact, if there's one individual who really gave Uhuru Kenyatta serious political headache was none other than Kimani Ngunjiri. Then come the lady Susan Kika. <laughs> Do you know what Kika is giving you root of that Kimani Ngujiri cannot give him? The truth of the matter is that Susan Kika's husband is a billionaire. He's one of the guys who funded William Ruto's campaign. And not from nowhere. This is a man who made real money when William Ruto was the deputy president during uh, William Ruto's first term in office as a deputy president. So William Ruto identified and they conducted serious businesses. And that's why despite the fact that Kimani Ngujiri is making noise, oh, so you are my appoint nani, oh, so you, you land gani, nothing can be done. So Kimani Ngujiri has to be sacrificed. Let me tell you, Ikinakuru, they did something with the governor there. Seven family of the of his family, the, the, the sister, the grandchild, the nini, they gave nomination. My people are in bad, they got nothing who supported them. The UDA. Mm -hmm. So for the UDA, let's not talk about it here for me because I'm not part and parcel for the UDA. And that's politics. For me, I'm not surprised. That's politics. Kimani Ngujiri should just pray that a fallout is going to occur between William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa and that Rigadi Gashagwa is going to surprise William Ruto just like William Ruto surprised Uhuru Mugeke Jata. Otherwise, without that, Ruto's interest is currently being served by Susan Keika. Number three is Uru Kenyatta factor. You see, the truth of the matter is that as much as majority of Kenyans don't want to accept, Uru Kenyatta's silence is giving Kenya Kwanza serious political headache. They don't know what Uru Kenyatta is thinking about. And the fact that Uru Kenyatta was the president of the Republic of Kenya for 10 years and he was able to do much for the people of the mountain and yet the people, the, the same people of the mountain dismissed his performance. Now they have William Ruto who is not performing. The residents down there are wondering why they never listened to Uru Kenyatta. Because for example, if someone was giving you 50 bob and you were not satisfied, now you have someone you thought would give you 100 bob, he's now giving you 30 bob. Obviously, you'll get disappointed. And that's why Uhuru Kenyatta is playing a very big factor in Mount Kenya. In fact, someone was telling me that in uh, two counties, that is Nakuru County and Kiambu County. Nakuru is generally in uh, Rift Valley, but Nakuru County and Kiambu County, Uhuru Kenyatta will definitely determine who gets elected in those two, two counties because of the kind of disappointment. Kiambu was the home county of Uhuru Mge Kenyatta. He did so much, they never listened. Then, now, you, you know how the people, the Kikuyu nation found themselves in Akuru County. Mze Kenyatta, Kehika, the land buying companies, and now they are there. <laughs> yeah, so let us wait and see. But the truth of the matter, is that Uru Kenyatta's factor could be the reason why someone like Kimani Ngujiri is shifting. Number three is the rebellion against UDA party. If you go to Mount Kenya today, UDA party is no longer the favorite political party. In fact, just a few minutes ago, I was watching, uh, just going through Facebook, then I came across uh, a video of an MCA from Kikuyu constituency who attended some funeral and he was uh, signed by Kimani Ishungwa and the residents there could not allow him to speak. That is what shocked me just today. So which means there is a growing kind of growing rebellion. The ground is hostile for UDA party and Kimani Ngujiri being a veteran politician has listened to the ground. And that's why in his statement it's like 11 contest as an independent. Who do you imagine that someone like Kimani Ngujiri would be talking about contesting or I mean contesting seats as independent and lastly and I don't know how William Ruto will deal with it because it's going to have a big impact 
the appointment of Clofas Malala as the Secretary General of UDA Party. Serious politicians and serious political analysts understand why William Ruto appointed Malala. He didn't want that party, UDA Party, to be in the grips of the Kikuyu nation. So he wanted to shift it from the Kikuyu nations to where? To the Luyan nation. And that's why he decided to pick Malala, who was an outsider. In fact, Kimani Gujiri is stating it very clearly that this man was an outsider. Kwenye tu kwa na watu. Let me ask you, my brother. <laughs> you know how I worked for you, dear. Mm. Mm. You want to see when we are getting the, uh, 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 the, the director of something, we go and get Western when he was in the other party. There. We, don't, we are not there ourselves. Who did this work for you, dear? Why are, you, are we not there? Are we not capable? So before we remove ourselves, we are already removed. Before we remove ourselves, uh -huh. already we are removed. I remember during the last election how William Ruto used to challenge Uru Kenyatta that even if Uru Kenyatta did not like him as the as the Jubilee presidential candidate, Uru Kenyatta ought to have just picked some other individual from within Jubilee. But now we are talking of William Ruto, who is a member of UDA party, going out of UDA to pick a secretary general. And you think people like Kimani Kunjiri are not reading the signs? They are afraid the signs. I don't know what you think. That's my take. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.